but I do regret, and I don't say that often, but I do regret sending out that tweet. Things on my end could have been handled behind closed doors, 100%. Um, That's right, everybody. Jeffree Star just went on Snapchat to backpedal about his tweets about James Charles. And there's a lot that we can learn from this tricky situation. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at the YouTube community, some of this drama going on and take this mess and turn it into a message. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And while you're at it, make sure you're following me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul so you can get all the updates and I love interacting with all of you beautiful people out there. So yes, Jeffree Star just took the Snapchat this morning to backpedal a little bit about the James Charles situation. And this dude, this dude is completely missing the point. All right, and I'll explain why. So I'm not gonna put his whole Snapchat story in here. I'll put some clips and everything, but if you want to check out some of the other channels, commentary channels, drama channels, everything like that, they have the whole thing. I bet it's up on YouTube, everywhere else. But TLDR, Jeffree Star went on here and like, I think, I think it was good, but Jeffree Star is completely missing the point. So the first half of his Snapchat story, he's very empathetic towards James Charles. And I'll be honest with you, it is, it's like a big learning experience for everybody involved. For James Charles, for Tati Westbrook, for Jeffree Star, everybody's learning from this situation. Or God, I please, if there is a God, like I hope they're learning from this situation because after this whole thing massively blew up, people like Jeffree Star and Tati Westbrook are realizing how screwed up it was to do this, all right? And we'll talk about that more in a second. But then Jeffree Star, he switches gears, and in the second half of his Snapchat story, he gets real serious with all of you, and don't you ever, don't you ever compare his situation with Nate, who was a straight man, to what James Charles is doing, all right? Even though, even though the two, the two confirmed stories about James Charles are from two guys who have publicly stated that they consented to hooking up with James Charles. And here is where Jeffrey is missing the point, okay? His tweet, his tweet against James Charles called James Charles a danger to society. So something I didn't touch on in my video about Tati Westbrook, um, her video yesterday about why I did it, something I didn't touch on was Tati Westbrook said like, don't put words in my mouth, you know, for everybody who's accusing James Charles of things, I never said this. And it's like, you did, Tati, you did. And Jeffree Star and Tati Westbrook, they are older than James Charles. They need to know better. Tati Westbrook used the word predator. Okay, she talked about tricking men, okay? Then Je Jeffree Star comes out and says that James Charles is a danger to society. Those two powerhouses in the community are, are the ones who created that narrative. They created that narrative, okay? And Jeffree Star, he is, like, this is what blows my mind about Jeffree Star. Like, we all learn so much and we grow so much, but there's still, there's still these parts of us that are still there that come out, right? And Jeffree Star is talking about how people are taking clips, taking things out of context. He says to go rewatch his video about his relationship with Nate and all these other things. Like, bro, you started this whole crap storm with James Charles. You started that narrative. You did the same exact thing that you don't want people doing to you, okay? Because I, 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 I will continue to bring this up when I talk about Jeffree Star. I am a recovering drug addict. I believe, like what Jeffree Star said, I believe in giving people chances and other chances. And, and like the thing is, here's the problem. We are, as, as people, we're constantly comparing ourselves to other people, okay? We're constantly saying, am I better than or less than? Am I better than this person or am I less than this person? Am I better than this person or less than this person? The problem with Jeffree Star's tweet 
and his the way he 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 came out about the situation was he was acting better than James Charles. That is the issue, okay? Because we all need to recognize, and this is something that ugh, is what the community is doing as well. We all need to recognize that we have screwed up. We have massively screwed up in our lives, especially when you're 19 years old. And that's why like, I am deathly afraid that my son's like, hey, I wanna be a YouTuber or Twitch streamer or whatever the hell he wants to do. Because if you get too much too soon and you're in that public spotlight, right? And like Jeffree Star talks about how, oh, I'm so tired of people bringing up these old tweets. And it's like, bro, because you keep saying stuff. You can't continue to go around acting better than everybody else when you have such a public history of screwing up. Because the difference here, the difference here is empathy, okay? That's what it is. And like Jeffree Star mentioned in his Snapchat story, he was very emotional, he was heated, he said that he regrets sending that tweet out. And it's because when emotions flare up, we forget where we came from. We forget what it was like. I talked about this in my video yesterday. Like, when I get upset with my son because he did something, I have to pause. I have to pause and think about what I was doing at his age. What was I doing before I get emotionally heated, all right? And like I've said before, like, somebody like Jeffree Star who has millions and millions and millions of followers, like, you can't do that. Like, yo. I am a small YouTuber. I am small in comparison to these people, right? And I learned the hard, hard way that I have to be so careful, so careful about what I talk about on my channel, what I talk about in DMs, what I publicly tweet out, what I say on my Instagram. I have had to learn that and I am tiny, okay? There are these YouTubers like Tati Westbrook and Jeffree Star who have subscribers and followers that is the population of like a city, all right? So when they do something like this and they don't have a pause button, right? Like that would be like the city that you're living in and all the TVs go to like that emergency broadcast and somebody just saying something, right? Like just boom, like right there. Like that is how many people they're broadcasting it to. And that's what I don't like with, with everything, you know, that, that has happened to James Charles. And again, like you could defend the person without defending their actions. Like James Charles screwed up, he messed up. He's going to learn, he's gonna grow. But here's the thing. If Jeffree Star had a damn pause button, he would have, the Snapchat that he, he released this morning, that would have been what he initially came out with, right? Um, I've mentioned this before, Shane Dawson and Tati Westbrook, they came out and they were like, hey everybody, calm down with the hate and everything like that. But a lot of people do not have a pause button. And how does, how does this affect you, right? Like, you guys, this is why, this is why we really have to take a look at how often we, we say something and then we immediately regret it. We do something and we immediately regret it. Like, why do you guys think I preach meditation and mindfulness so much? Science has proven that it strengthens this thing right here called the prefrontal cortex, which has a variety of functions, but one of them is logical decision-making. The other one is impulse control and another one is emotional regulation. So like, I think the issue that happens with influencers as a whole is this autopilot, right? This autopilot, like where they're constantly tweeting, constantly snapping, constantly making videos, constantly posting on Instagram, all these other things, da, 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 da. and they get into this autopilot mode where they're just like, every thought that comes through my head, I have to put it out there, right? And it's dangerous. Like whenever I'm about to tweet, whenever I'm about to do anything, I have to sit back and say, okay, right? Like what's going to happen? Like I've mentioned that I just finished a book called Mental Models by Shane Parrish. Something that a lot of us don't do, and it's, this is a prime example, the Tati Westbrook and James Charles situation. Something that we don't do is second order thinking, right? We only think about the initial thing. We only think about this thing. And we, since we're a species who loves instant gratification, we only think about if I do this one thing, here's the result I'm going to get. If we pause for a second, and think about the second level of that, what can this cause? What can the reaction be, right? Like a great example is the Trisha Paytas video I made yesterday. 
before I sat down and recorded that video, I sat down, I talked with people in my support group, I talked with mentors of mine, I said, okay, let's run through every scenario that might happen after this, right? Like, I know I've kind of rebranded for to more social commentary than mental health, but you guys, like, I don't, I, people need to like start figuring stuff out. You know what I mean? And we need to learn and grow and everything like that. But like, I don't know, just seeing Jeffree Star in this situation, it is, it also, it also bums me out seeing, seeing the bias for Jeffree Star. So many people defend Jeffree Star. So many people say, he's talked about this. He's explained it. He's done this for so long. Like you guys, it's been less than a week since this happened to James Charles. Like, do you not see the double standard here? James Charles hasn't even had the opportunity to learn and grow. So when everybody's like, well, Jeffrey's already answered for these things. Give James Charles a second to learn and grow before you cancel this kid, all right? Anyways, that's all I got for this video. Don't forget to follow me on social media, at The Rewired Soul. If you like the uh, video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, get your name in the credits, get some other perks and benefits like our monthly Q&A, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.